Hey, it's Eli K. Atlas, and in today's video, I am going to be doing a little walkthrough of the coloring process for uh, the Superheroes Can't Fly number one cover. The story is written by Andrew Pally, uh, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, and it is illustrated by myself, colored and lettered as well by myself. Um, had a little fun with that, so let's get into it without further ado. Started with the skin, which I always do. Um, one of the main things about this guy's design, um, this, the main character of the story, his name is Josh, and um, he's supposed to look very sad, very depressed. Um, so one of the things I, I, I wanted to really focus on was he has these like dark shadows under his eyes, his nose is a little bit red, he's got that look that he's been really depressed and really crying for a while. So, And all of the pages and all of the art of him, I always make sure that's a very constant part of his look. And a little background story for this particular cover, and I think I'll probably be focusing on the idea more than the actual uh, colors because those are, you know, pretty simple. But uh, the idea was definitely to make a mood overall, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So the idea for the cover itself is that he's at this costume party, and it takes place during the nighttime. Um, he gets invited, you know, those type of parties you don't really want to go to, but I guess you're just being nice. And uh, he shows up, he's got this like makeshift uh, Superman outfit on. We went through like two other designs before we settled on this really homemade, very uh, low budget look. He's kind of just wearing like a regular out of the store long sleeve super Superman t-shirt. And um, he's got the like, you know, cape tucked into the collar. He's got these really old shoes he wears, um, just some jeans from the house. A very DIY look. And you can see some of the other characters around Put, did put a little more effort into their outfits to a certain extent and I think that kind of adds to the character of the whole thing as well because it just kind of shows you his mind state a little bit that he's not really he's just kind of there he's not really interested in the whole thing itself but at the same time I think the lack of effort in the design is what makes the design stand out it really it makes it a little more realistic which is something me and Andrew definitely discussed we wanted a little more of a grittier more realistic look and for this one, the details were very, very important. So um, you can see I put a lot of work into like certain elements in the background. We've got a little cat. Uh, Josh himself is sitting on top of a cooler box. And there's like beers and some Red Bull cans around him. Things like that. He himself was probably the easiest part of this picture to do. And all the other characters definitely took a little bit more effort. And I think we're going to get into that in just a second. And we went through a couple of versions of the cover itself. Um, until we got to this one and this one was pretty much uh, the finished version was really Andrew's idea because I came up with a couple of different ideas I wanted to make it a little more surreal but he wanted to make it a little more realistic which obviously really worked out in the end I tried messing with the whole uh, idea that I brought back later on his design uh, which is kind of like highlighting him and it didn't work too well on him individually but I ended up using that same effect a little later which we'll talk about um, so we'll get on to the background characters now as you can see um, I asked people online what uh, characters and stuff they could pick out and you know got different answers I suppose but uh, I'll just you know for the sake of the video tell you what's happening here in the front we've got a guy in a kind of robber outfit uh, and he's talking to some girl off camera all we see is her at the bottom of her face she's wearing something maybe PVC latex bandexy kind of a superhero outfit We've got a guy on the right hand corner of the screen just in a uh, stereotypical Roman Julius Caesar kind of outfit. Uh, we've got a girl next to him who's kind of wearing an ammo gam of a Batgirl, Supergirl kind of costume. I had originally, which you'll see later, done a different hair color for her and then I changed it because it was looking too much like the actual character that she was cosplaying as. And this is an interesting part of the coloring process that I do. I don't know if anybody else does it, but as you know, uh, you might know, I, if you're familiar with my work, that I don't usually do the backgrounds first. Usually I do the characters, so I pretty much have the whole idea of how the lighting is supposed to be, which is allows me, I don't know if allows is a good word, because I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. That's just kind of my process. But I'll often just put the light sources where I know it will be, and I don't really so much worry about the background and things like that. 
And for colors like this, I knew the uh, cloth around the guy, the toga wasn't going to be red, but sometimes I'll have, uh, I'll use a different color knowing that I can tweak the color later with the sliders and the hue and saturation bars. And uh, yeah, it allows me to keep my similar palette or color scheme without going too far off. So that's what's happening on the right side of the screen. On the left side of the screen, we'll tackle that in a second. Right now, we are continuing to move, uh, we are continuing to make our way through the uh, main characters still, who are pretty much foreground. Adding more lights to him. And there's a lot of different elements happening in the background. Again, I asked people to point it out, but I'm gonna break some of it down for you guys, probably the whole thing, and uh, talk about some Easter eggs and things that I like that I threw in in the background and things that you will may or may not have noticed. And one thing I wanted to do to this uh, cover itself, and you'll see about the lights in a second, why I have uh, like reds and greens and whites. We'll discuss that in a little bit, but it added a little bit more to the atmosphere. It's kind of like, we kind of agreed early on, me and Andrew, about this kind of like, I guess punk rock was the word that I used, kind of atmosphere to the whole thing. So it's a bit of an ammo game of like different visuals and different items around the house and around the background. And it ends up giving the party a very unique kind of character to it. It's understated. I didn't want to do anything too crazy, but I think it ends up making a very uh, unique atmosphere. And the cover itself was pretty well received. Um, even when I just put up the teaser on my Twitter and Instagram pages, people really liked the cover. And then once they saw the full thing, you know, they liked it even more. So hopefully uh, the stuff that I was trying to get across kind of hit the right place from what I saw. So what makes her an ammo gam of Supergirl and Batgirl? Well, she's got like the cowl from Batgirl, she's got the Batgirl boots, but she has the Supergirl skirt and the Supergirl, you know, cape and shirt. So, but she also has like Red Girl, also kind of like Barbara Gordon does in the comics. So I just kind of thought that would be kind of funny to do a little mashup of that character for this uh, cosplay right here. One of the things Andrew and me really wanted to uh, make, you know, apparent that it was a party was these uh, red plastic cups, which you'll often see at parties and things like that. Everyone's drinking beer or whatever it is. And, uh, you know, this girl's got, she's got her cup and she has the bottle itself. So she's really having a great time. Uh, one of the Easter eggs that appears in the background, I think I'll go over them now uh, at the, as the video ends. Um, I have some different posters, which I thought was ironic. Uh, or maybe again added to the punk atmosphere of the whole thing. We've got a poster from These are like old bands and stuff. We've got a Nirvana poster Soundgarden Nine Inch Nails tour um, And we also have one of my favorite bands posters in there Wolf Alice um, They're like another uh, new kind of rock punk band, which they're super dope. They're an English group I believe and we have uh, some different Things that, you know, historically kind of have some different attachments to them, like Lord of the Flies, um, Catcher in the Rye, and of course the, like, anonymous Guy Fox mask. And under that, I thought it was ironic, I found it online and it said Hope, which, you know, since the story's about depression, I found that kind of, like, ironic. But at the same time, not really, because if you know how the story turns out, everything kind of works together in a certain way. Okay, so moving to the left side of the picture, we've got two more background characters. Uh, before we get to the most important background character, we've got a girl who's dressed as a uh, Captain Marvel, and the, I actually originally did do her in red, or at least I started to, in the red, blue, and yellow color scheme, but I decided to change it to the Kree version of the armor because I didn't want her to have the exact same color scheme as Josh himself. And that would end up taking away from the attention visually from him and putting it onto her. So I decided to do the uh, Cree version, which ends up being blue, green, and silver. And uh, I think it worked. It kind of pushes her to the side. We can still see the outfit is what it is, but fortunately, it doesn't distract from the main character and the point of the whole scene. Also, I should note that this is the movie version of the costume. Um, because by the time, you know, this comic came out, uh, the Captain Marvel movie with Brie Larson and them had already been out, so I thought it would be 
Uh, Andrew also liked the character. He was like, make sure, you know, you put Captain Marvel in here somewhere. So we kind of worked that out that way. And the cast of this uh, cover, I think, is relatively diverse, all things speaking. We've got, you know, uh, different men, different women. We've got, you know, black characters wearing white outfits, uh, traditionally white characters, or whatever, however you'd like to call it. And this girl's like, she's got the afro, and we've got, like, kind of a lesbian couple thing happening here. And it's not to be political or anything. I just wanted the scene to reflect really, like, kind of a realistic party that you might be, you might go to, you know, in this year, 2019, as this thing is published. Um, you know, just kind of see different stuff around and I think it really ends up giving also adding to the atmosphere of the story as well because we really wanted it to center in that realism and that, you know, that grittiness, to use that word again and the white girl that's on top of the black girl in the cover is just uh, not wearing like any particular superhero thing or anything it's just like a bunny Pikachu outfit combo so, a little understated sexiness and now we move on to the most important character in the entire cover, which is Goose from Captain Marvel. Me and Andrew definitely wanted to sneak it in, or rather, I drew the cat, and uh, he kind of just like, well, this is Goose. So I'm like, okay, when I get around to coloring it, it's Goose from the Captain Marvel movie, who is technically, I suppose, um, Nick Fury's cap. But, you know, if you saw the movie, no spoilers, but he's not a cat. So, yeah, the Christmas lights added a certain kind of loneliness because even as nice as Christmas is, people do associate it with, like, sadness as as much as they do with the joy of it. So I felt like that kind of added a little more atmosphere to it as well. And this party could be taking place at any time of the year. So I thought that was good. There are people who leave their lights up, and I thought that added a certain kind of character to the whole thing. So anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and share. Check out the book. I'll, if it's out, I will have links to everywhere you can check it out or whatever it is below. So thank you guys again. New videos every Monday, every Friday. See you guys later.